So if you do a little searching, you can find a lot of information about search engine bias and algorithms of oppression. Um, and as far as I can, as far as I can find, it all focuses on internet search engines. Um, it seems crazy that librarians would not be considering how much uh, this is a problem in library databases. And my library, like many libraries in California, recently switched to using Primo OneSearch. Um, and I've just gotten search results that make me wonder about um, how bias or whiteness might be baked into the library database cake. Uh, what first got me curious was I, for a class, I searched for prostitution legalize. And the second result was a book, When Gay People Get Married, What Happens When Societies Legalize Same-Sex Marriage. And I, you know, I really didn't see how this was relevant. Um, I don't know why this is, this is coming up in the results. Um, but I also think it's, it sends a weird message, right, to, to get this second in the results when I search for prostitution uh, legalize, you know, if, if one search is a person at this point, I am thinking that one search is the person at the party saying things like, well, you let gay people get married. Next thing you know, prostitution's legal. People are marrying their pets. And you know, that is not a person that I want to have at my party. So it's not really the, the database that I want to be using, I think. Um, trying out some other results, you know, let's try this one, I think was extremely informative and troubling. If I search for black men in uh, one search here. So the first result is about African American literature, which I think is the, the only positive result here, though I, I it's hard for me to imagine that this would be relevant for someone who was looking for black men. If I'm searching for black men, I, I can't imagine that I'm looking for literature and not including the word literature. Um, but then looking at the rest, you know, my top 10 results, um, let's see, two of them are about re-entry from prison. Three of the top 10 results um, have the words black men who have sex with men in the title. Uh, reinforcing stereotypes about um, black men and hypersexuality. And, you know, why, why am I looking at the results and I'm wondering, okay, what, how many, how many black men have sex with men? 30% of my results when I search for black men are about black men having sex with men. What, why, why is that? Why, why would this database think, that's what I what I'm looking for, and you know of the of the top ten results, except for the one about African American literature, all of them are negative, right? They're all about uh, black men as a problem or as being beset by problems. Now, if I try this in EBSCO Discovery, right? Let's try black men. You know, one search sent a sent a message, right, about about black men, and here in EBSCO Discovery, I'm going to get some of the same results, but I'm also going to get things that cast black men in a positive light. Black men in the academy, narratives of resiliency, achievement, and success. Black men in college, being a black man at the corner of progress and peril, but at least there's progress there, right? So there are things that are, are positive, black men in higher education. You know, one search sends a message, right? Black men are a problem or are beset by problems. Um, EBSCO sends a message, I think that, you know, black men are scholars, at least looking at the first, you know, the top 10 results. Um, one more, let's try whiteness in both of these. And again, I'm just gonna look at the top 10 results uh, one search, seek formations, right? Let's see. 
the violence against the Sikh community in August 2012. Okay. Um, whiteness in poetry, April 1985. Whiteness out of place, Chinese schooling in post-colonial Hong Kong. <sighs> Anti-racist mobilization in Finland. Number seven is the first one that I would say is highly relevant. Reproducing whiteness and enacting kin in the Nordic context of transnational egg donation. Young unemployed Russian speakers in Finland. Identity in Western Switzerland. What's the message if I'm a student and I'm coming to one search and I'm searching for whiteness? I think the message here is this is an esoteric topic, not really relevant, maybe relevant in another country. Maybe you want to pick a different topic. Let's try it in EBSCO Discovery. Here, right, if I try whiteness in EBSCO Discovery, I, I think I get a, a far different message from the database. Whiteness is a current topic, it is relevant, and there are lots and lots of relevant sources. This could easily be a topic that you could do for your, for your research assignment. All right, thanks for listening. Just, uh, man, there, there's something going on with, with these databases and as librarians, we need to be thinking about bias in our, in our library search engines. Thank you.